set up at school and stuff so we're all excited yeah it's good I got three I got, yeah yeah we're, we're, we're busy we've got 13 year old and um, and we have a two-year-old and our, our little daughter Dorothy is gonna be a year uh, it's gonna be Saturday so having a two-year-old and a one-year-old in our house it, it's like it's like having two wild feral animals it's like trying to potty train a raccoon but they're, they're really wonderful I love watching them grow and, and they, they both have a sense of humor like you ever eat a hop up hop no like the Dr. Seuss book? Yeah, oh, yeah, she, up, up. yeah, she did. She knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> My son Hayden, that's his thing. Like, he'll have a sippy cup and, like, lay in bed and just, like, start hopping on me. Like, it's great. It's a, it's a funny thing to say. They like to jump on the bed, I hear. They like to hop on pop. <laughs> they do. Tyler has this lovely store in Mill Valley with uh, cooking equipment and utensils and all that. And, and a there. library. Yeah, it's one of the largest cookbook collections in the state of California. We've got 3,000 books, 700 authors. If, 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 it's, if it's been written down, we've got it. And if we don't have it, we can get it in five days. So and we, it's we got to it's book. so cozy. I mean, it's like yeah. it's a library. And yeah, you just true. hang out there. And, and we got this huge like wild boar on the, on, on the wall that apparently was the largest wild boar uh, shot with a bow and arrow in the state of California, although he's not talking much. So he's he's just there hanging out. But uh, come by come by and see the boar. <laughs> so we're doing a we're doing a second shop up in Napa. We just signed a lease on the Riverwalk project. We're doing a fast casual uh, rotisserie concept there, which is going to be slick, family friendly, and really delicious. In Napa. In Napa. And then we're also uh, we're doing a, uh, a kitchen shop at SFO too. It's going to be at the um, the uh, US Air Southwest Terminal. Terminal I'm two. Not. Yeah, Terminal two. So as soon as you go through the gate, we're going to be a little shop right on the right hand side. So it'll be fun. Really great jams. Really great olive oils. That that awesome Northern California experience. Tyler, how do you stay sane being so busy? You know what? It's just like I, if I don't have 25 things going on, I just don't think anybody loves me anymore. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so we, we just we just try to we just try to keep ourselves busy. Because the thing about it, it, it's like you got to throw 100 things against the wall to get 10 to stick. I love this food 2.0 thing because you're actually very hip with the web 2.0. Yeah, we, we, have a, we have a cooking class on Twitter every Friday. It's uh, the class size. I, I don't really know how, how to really kind of play this out. We got 15,000 people that kind of oh, pay no. attention to that every oh, week. No. It's weird. Yeah, 15. I don't know what it is right now, but it's growing every week. We get about 1,000 new people a week. And uh, if they go to my website, tylerforrance.com, we put up five uh, dishes every Monday. And then they vote periodically, like throughout the week. And uh, we just closed voting today for tomorrow's class. And uh, it, over 1,800 people voted for this uh, summer berry trifle. So it's kind of cool. So I go home. I, I made it this afternoon. I take all the pictures on my iPhone. I uh, send it to my web, my web guy. He posts them. And then we have a live blog and live chat about that. Twitter is so great because you get that live feedback right then and there. So when people say, listen, I got this thing come up this weekend. I don't know what to do. I'll say, listen, here's a great recipe. Here's a great idea. Here's how I can bail you out. Here's how you can have success with it. And they make it. They write me back. and like, thanks. It was awesome. So, so whatever. You know, I, I just have a good time doing it. And I think people like it. And it's yeah. good. Just a few fun questions. If you were a food, what would you be? If I were a food, what would I be? I wouldn't be a pig. Ugh, I just interviewed a chef the other day. He said he, he said he would be a pig? He would. I just don't think you'd make it very long. That's all I think about. I'd, I'd want to be an animal that had a nice long life. I'd, I'd be something pretty, sort of pretty tasty. I would be a bagel. I, you'd be a bagel? I'm New York at heart. Yeah, yeah. I don't think, I wouldn't want to be anything gristly. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to be anything tough. Yeah, Jamie Lauren would be an Eggo waffle. Like oh my Eggo. Yeah, so you can stuff things. <laughs> like where do you love going out to eat here? Um, where do you know what? My, my, my 13 year old and I every Saturday we go to Slanted Door. You do? We, yeah, and we have like father son lunch. Really? Love it. Yeah. You sit cool. at the table or you sit at the bar with your. Uh, we, 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 sit, we sit at the table. You yeah. do. I was just with Charles. I was good. Charles fans <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it, it's really a, it's really a great place. You want to see something cool? My 13 year old. My 13 year old just made his first pot of. Um, marinara the other night. He did? Yeah, it's, it's very cool in my hand. So this is my 13-year-old right here. 
Right? Oh, he's cute. And this is, so check him out, rocking a big pot of marinara sauce in our kitchen. He's dancing while he does yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's what my boy made. Look at that. Boom. In your face. <laughs> Look at that. You did a good job, did a really good, really I mean, good of course. Job. You're your son. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks so much too. Really cool nice guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Tell the fun. <laughs>